Hello everyone. Today we are going to be talking about volcanoes. What is a volcano? A volcano is an opening on the Earth's surface which lets out lava. Now let's try to get a clearer picture of this. The Earth's surface? Hmm. Where do we live? Yes. We live on planet Earth. This is planet Earth, the planet that we live on. What do you know about planet Earth? Can you think of any facts? Yes, Earth is made up mostly of water. The blue bits are the water, while the green bits are... Yes, I think I hear the answer. That's land and trees. Well done. Now this is the outside of the earth that we are seeing. But what do you think you would see if we cut the earth open? Let's see. This is a picture of the earth and what it looks like on the inside. On the outer surface, outside of the earth, is called the crust. And that's where we live. All people live on the crust of the earth. Inside are a few layers. Now, the yellow layer on the inside is called the mantle. Next to the mantle in the orange is called the core. And right at the center, the little circle right in the middle is called the inner core. Now the core is the hottest part of the earth. Scientists have said that the core of the earth is even hotter than the sun. Can you imagine that? Now, right at the center, in the core, where it's really, really very hot, that's where we have rock melting. Now when this rock melts, it becomes hotter and hotter and hotter and eventually after a long time it forms a crack from the core through the mantle to the surface of the earth and that's when we have a volcano now that you know how volcanoes are formed we are going to do a little demonstration of how the melting rock, called the magma, found inside the volcano, causes so much of pressure, just like when you blow a balloon. As you blow more and more and more, what happens? Yes, the balloon gets bigger, right? But what happens if you don't stop blowing when it's really big? Pop! It bursts. Similar to this, when the magma gets hotter and hotter and hotter inside the mountain where the volcano is, it starts to push up until it reaches the top and erupts. When the magma flows out of the volcano, it's called lava. We're going to see a basic demonstration of how this happens. For my experiment, I'm using a simple solution of hydrogen peroxide, dishwashing liquid, a mixture of dry yeast and warm water, and a little bit of food coloring so you can see when it flows out. I've mixed my hydrogen peroxide, dishwashing liquid, and my water, and I've got it in this bottle giving it a small shake and now I'm going to add the yeast mixture. Let's see what happens. Watch closely now friends. And that's our lava spewing out of our volcano. We say 
that the lava erupts from the volcano. Look at that! And this, friends, is how a volcano erupts. Magma that heats up at the bottom of the mountain heats up the rocks, melts the rocks, causes a lot of pressure, pushes it up the crack of the, of the mountain, which obviously is inside the earth, from the core to the mantle to the crust, and it pushes out from the little hole on the surface called the volcano. And what you find coming out of the volcano is lava. So, we've learned some new words today. Volcano, erupt, lava, and magma. Can you say it after me? Volcano, erupt, lava, magma. Now can you try and say it by yourself? Well done. More about volcanoes tomorrow. Hi, I'm back with a quick note. Children, during this time, it's a little difficult for your parents to get different ingredients. So for this particular experiment that I've just done, your parents will not have the ingredients at home and will possibly find it very difficult to locate it at this time. So I'm going to give you an alternative to see the same reaction, okay? So you can use a small bottle of Coke into which you can drop one or two Mentos sweets. See what happens and let me know. Bye.